In this video, we will take a look at one example from this paper, The Scaling of Plant and Animal Body Mass, Length and Diameter, by Carl Niklas. So, if we take a look at this graph, it says here that this is a log-log plot of a body mass in kilograms versus body length in meters of 66 plant species and 67 animal species. And so, if you look at the graph, on the x-axis it says length L, but actually if you look closely, it's graphing on the logarithmic scale. So actually this is the log of the length. And on the y-axis it says mass, but again, if you look closely, it's actually graphing this on the logarithmic scale as a log of the mass. So what this means is that if you look at some particular plant or animal species and you have length and mass of that species, before you graph, you transform by taking the logarithm of the length and the logarithm of the mass. And so after we apply this transformation to all the species and then plot them on the x-y axis, we see that the species actually follow very well along this linear trend. And in fact, if we fit this so-called least square regression line, we get the line with the slope approximately 2.95. And so what this means is that the logarithm of the mass is approximately equal to some constant plus 2.95 times the logarithm of the length. And so if this was exactly on the line, then we would have exact equality. Now, from here, we can find the relationship between mass and length just by using the properties of the logarithms. So, we can rewrite the right-hand side as the logarithm of 10 to the power c times l to the power 2.95. And this means that the mass will be some constant 10 to the power c times the length to the power 2.95. And actually, if you look at the abstract of this paper, you can see that if you fit one line to all the species instead of fitting two separate lines for plants and animals, you will get that this constant is 1.29, and so the relationship becomes 1.29 times L, or length, to the power 2.95. And so, these types of log-log plots, when you apply logarithmic transformation to both input variable and, and the output variable, are very useful when you have this type of power relationship between your variables. So, whenever you have y equals to some constant times x to some power k, or this constant k could be also negative, so it could be a constant divided by x to the power k, if you take a logarithm of both sides, for example, this first equation, you will get log of y is equal to log of c plus k times the log of x. And so now you, you get a linear relationship between log of y and log of x. And so if you find the line that fits your data best, then the slope of this line is exactly the power in the original relationship, written right here. And so, for example, if you know that logarithm of y is equal to some constant, let's say minus 1.07 times logarithm of x, you can exponentiate both sides. You get that y is equal to 10 to the power b, divided, in this particular case, by x to the power 1.07, okay, which is just some constant c divided by x to the power 